as our WWE superstars are jockeying for position. Going into the upcoming pay-per-view event, we welcome you tonight to Monday Night Raw. Without question, one of the most anticipated episodes of Monday Night Raw in the history of WWE. We've waited long enough. Let's get this thing started. to be in right here. Yeah, you have to think this is not going to end well. Oh, boy, he is rolling. He wants no part of the outside. Elbow finds its mark. your friends let them know what's going on right now in this awesome match Ooh, what impact i knew it was only a matter of time oh man triple h doesn't even know where he is look out john cena is measuring <laughs> that's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match guy No doubt it was a good one. Here's another look. Oh, 
He was on point the entire match, as you can see here. Tag team ready for action here. Oh, look at this, from behind. The match hasn't even started yet. And they're fighting in the aisle away. This match may not even start at all. Beautiful technique. Bringing it back into the ring. Now back to the ring. Ooh. Oh, what an uppercut. Titus O'Neil looking uneasy now. And you have to assume his partner is just itching to get in there right about now. Well, this certainly escalated in a hurry. I don't think any of us expected to see him fall behind so quickly. remember how much energy it drains to pull off. When you talk about great tag teams, we can go all the way back to teams like the Tolos brothers, Stevens and Patterson, Stevens and Bachwinkle, the Texas Outlaws, the Briscoes, the Blackjacks, the Andersons, and the list goes on and on. When you're part of the tag team, the two partners have to travel together, train together, eat together, and be completely in sync with one another. Tag team competition dates back all the way to the early 1900s. Corey, you mentioned some of the classic duos from sports entertainment's incredible history. In today's WWE, the tag team scene has never been more competitive. I don't know who has the edge when it comes to talent. If it's Raw or SmackDown Live, I think it's too close to call. But all the teams truly think and act as one unit. I agree, Michael. Teams such as the Usos, American Alpha, Anderson and Gallows, The New Day, The Hardy Boys, Cesaro and Sheamus. I could be here all day naming championship caliber teams. And when the tag team scene is that competitive, you don't know which team will be wearing the gold. Oh, my goodness. Crushing it.
Connor hurting a little bit here. This tag team match can get out of hand quickly if he doesn't mount an offense soon. Well, it's not oh. dire consequences for him here, which is good. But just in case, he might want to think about getting his partner in there for a bit. I know it's somewhat early still, but this could be a pivotal point in this match, guys. Let's see how he reacts here. tag team, a superstar and their teammate must have that continuity where they're a well-oiled machine inside the ring. I'm talking about classic techniques like cutting the ring in half, isolating your opponent, relegating them to your corner, and making frequent tags so that the fresh man is always in the ring. That's how you keep your opponents off balance. Now, this is what makes him one of the best in the business. Corey, a few moments ago, you took us through what it takes for a tag team to be successful. The continuity between tag team partners is crucial. When a team is able to keep one opponent in the ring for an extended period of time without making a tag, they're able to focus their attack on one individual and one body part. And that's when things really start to take shape if you're on the tag team that's in control of the match. When you look at the tag teams who have dominated this business, all of them worked well together as a unit and were able to keep an opponent in the ring long enough to make that adversary the focal point of their assault. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team finishing maneuver. Ah, <laughs> oh, look at look at this backbreaker. Followed up with a <laughs> threw him out like trash. But is it enough to put Victor away? That should do it, Cole. There's no coming back from a slam of that magnitude. In comes Connor. ago you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history don't forget about the 3d from the dudley boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 wwe hall of famers the rock and roll express in tag team action like in singles competition once a duo nails their opponent with their finisher that should signal the beginning of the end it can take a long time titus o'neill set in and titus o'neill with the clash of the titus victory is on the horizon absolutely punishing Still too fresh. Got to be careful not to get counted out here. What a stop! Good grief! Oh, the reversal by Connor. Oh, he's such a tough target. What impact! Cruise it off the tag. Oh, nasty impact. That'll mess up your shoulder. Things have gotten worse for Connor. Unless this thing turns around here, this tag team match is all but over. He has got to do something quick. He's in big trouble here. I don't think I remember ever seeing him this much off his game. Oh, man! Not today. What a stomp! Good grief! Who's able to avoid damage there? starts coming together. He's known to have good stamina. See if he can sustain this effort. Point. 
Oh, I think we're going to get... Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Is it. Oh boy, he is rolling. What a strike. Apollo Crews is a deep trouble now, guys. He needs to find a way to create some space or else this thing's over. Come on, guys. If there is anyone who can turn the tide right now, it's Apollo. There's the switch. Titus O'Neil is in. Nope. Reverses it. in the work. He really put on a great show. Here are your winners, Titus O'Neil and Apollo Cruz. Titus Worldwide. Titus. And Apollo Cruz helps lead the team to victory. I don't care how many wins you have, Whenever your hand is raised in victory, a certain level of excitement washes over you. What a way to kick off tonight. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're just getting started. Listen, I can't deny his in-ring ability, but when it comes to his music, I got no time for Elias. He's got his own album, Corey. How can you deny what this man is all about? When it comes from in the ring, bell to bell, 
absolutely, I've got all the respect in the world for what Elias is capable of. But when he strums his guitar, it makes my ears bleed. That actually kind of Representatives to stand for 1.3 billion people in the country of India than Jinder Mahal and Samir and Sunil Singh. No question about it, Jinder Mahal has done an amazing job, an incredible job of transforming his mind, transforming his physical appearance, but in doing so, Jinder Mahal craves the praise and admiration of the WWE Universe, who he feels has disrespected him every step of the way. I can thank the Singh brothers for a lot of his success as well. Yeah, that too. My colleagues may have harsh opinions about Elias' musical talents, but I see Elias as a man who's just born to run all over WWE. If you haven't hit record yet, now might be a good time to do that. These guys are going to have a match you'll want to watch over and over again. Throughout his time in WWE, Elias has demonstrated an ability to defeat up and comers and veterans alike, sometimes with a six string on their back. Look, there's no doubting Elias' ability inside the ring. I just wish he'd take up something like making model airplanes instead of live musical performances, if those qualify as such. Guys, can we take a second to appreciate the rising we've seen from Elias since he joined Monday Night Raw? Pretty good at NXT, but within months he's been earning main event matches and beating some of WWE's top veterans. He's not looking like himself here. This could be the start of an ugly downward spiral if he's not careful. Michael excitedly pointed out Elias' resume, and I actually agree. He earned a spot in the Elimination Chamber, lasted almost a half hour in the Royal Rumble, and even competed in Mixed Match Challenge. You know, the guy also earned victories over the likes of Dean Ambrose, Finn Balor, Bobby Roode, even John Cena. So as much as his music stinks, he's doing something right in the ring. Knee drop. Guys, for my money, Elias has to be the greatest musician slash athlete to ever compete in a WWE ring. He's a consummate performer, both on the guitar and in the ring. Cole, I'm going to stop you right there. Elias is the best at nothing. We have a Hall of Famer who conquered Nashville in the form of Jeff Jarrett. Or heck, we can go further back to the music-based tag teams like the Rockers, the Rock and Roll Express, even Rhythm and Blues. The two of you went way off. He's got the shoulders down. He's a long way from the three count, I can tell you that. Not even close. Only one place to go when you're stuck in the fireman's carry. Yeah, down. And I can tell you it's not a pleasant trip. What a strike. Right on the mark. He's making a statement here with this attack. Ouch. to like his chances here. <laughs> oh, man! One, two, 
He's not done fighting yet. Yeah, it's going to take more than that. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Drop down. He's not looking good here. This very well may be too much for him to handle. Oh, man, his chances are dwindling quickly. He's just taking on so much punishment. A very crucial part in the match for him here. He simply cannot let his opponent do Beautiful technique. I'm not sure how much he has left. Can he score the pin? And he kicks out. Yeah, he's not done yet. History. What a win. These guys gave everyone their money's worth. Here's another look. He's getting after it here. This was another great moment. Remember this? And I always enjoy watching him perform. Here is your winner, Jinder Mahal. Big win here to start the show. And if that matches any indication of what to expect here tonight, we are in for an amazing evening. Plenty more action still to come here tonight, folks. supposed to be here. Yeah, the official trying to pull him off, but the, a relentless assault. And now he's calling for some help. Somebody's got to break this up. The damage has already been done. Get him out of here. As we get underway, I'm expecting a hard-fought match between these two superstars. The first one to make a mistake could fail. Aside from Saxton's commentary, this has all the makings of an epic match. What a strike! Combo drop! Turning that around. 
Oh, and he connects. There's no reason to lose your footing on a move like that. Come on, toughen up. What a strike. That was impressive, Cole. Oh, right to the back. Chad Gable oh, not looking himself right now. He's still got plenty of gas left in his tank, though. I wouldn't call for the medics just yet, Cole. Ouch. He still appears to be in pretty good shape here. This is all part of the process, guys. He knew he would take on some offense here tonight. He just has to make sure he keeps it to a minimum. Ooh, what impact. a tough target. Here he goes. Goldust beginning to breathe a little heavy now. He doesn't want to absorb much more punishment if he wants to win this match. Ooh, the amount of punishment. Wow, he got out of it. Yeah, I'm not so sure he had it fully locked in. Whoa. And what a reversal from Chad Gable. And then an elbow right to the shoulder. Three. Oh, he turns it around. Gable was a Minnesota State High School wrestling champion. From there, Chad competed in NCAA competition as a member of Northern Michigan University and then followed his dream to the 2012 Olympic Summer Games. Chad spent almost his entire life competing in some form of wrestling. He wants no part of the outside. I need to point out that Chad Gable is from Minneapolis, Minnesota, which is widely known as a breeding ground for incredible athletes, especially amateur wrestlers and sports entertainment superstars. Anyway, you look at it, Chad Gable. Oh, turn down the lights, kick everybody out. Big call! There's a pin now. And he kicks out. Just needs to do more damage. He's lining him up. Gold dust. And that's it. The final cut. That's it. He goes for the cover. Gentlemen, Goldust may be fading away here. Tonight may not be his night, guys. He's in tough shape, guys, and there's absolutely no room for error now. Oh. I don't think this is how Goldust saw this thing. Chad Gable is rolling forward right before our eyes. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Not sure if he can sustain this, but it's sure fun to watch right now. Gable's looking to finish this. Look at that shot! You see that height? I don't think this is how Goldust saw this thing playing. His shoulders are down. One, two. You can't teach the type of tenacity we're witnessing here. Unreal. Can you believe this? Into the buckle. Roll German suplex. Woo. Now it's time to capitalize. How about another look at some of the highlights? Check this out. Oh, I can't believe this. And here's the last look at this one.
Here is your winner, Chad Gable. Kicking off the night with an impressive victory. And you just know the rest of the card is watching in the back, wondering how in the world they're going to follow that. What a way to kick off tonight. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're just getting started. This matchup about to get started, and they just attacked him from behind. Yeah, I mean, this is ridiculous. You guys didn't even have a chance. The bell hasn't even rung yet. Back now inside the ring. to the back. Boom, right across the small of the back. This might be it. Oh, my. Back breaker. That'll realign your vertebrae. Ooh, what impact. Corey, what are they going to do here? We're about to find out. When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. Something that they have to try is doing creates separation between them and their opponent. That space gives the superstar the ability to move and catch their breath. Boom, what impact! Oh, tag made! Corey, you touched on this before. Part of a tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure punishment and make their way to their partner when they need to tag out. One way to do that is to create that separation you spoke of so they have some space to gather themselves and time to make their way back to the corner. You're absolutely right, Michael. What's the use of having a tag team partner if you're not able to get to them when you got to tag out of the match? Getting that separation is key in breaking any momentum your opponents could have may be the difference between a win and a loss. Maybe even more. Suplex! And we continue. Nobody ever accused Fandango of being shot. You better be careful here. No, he reverses it. Boom! <laughs> and here is Fandango in off the tag. Oh, man! Ouch! Curtis Axel feeling some pressure here. And you have to assume his partner is just itching to get in there right about now. The beauty of tag team competition is that he doesn't need to take the entire brunt of the opposition's attack. Though the thought of making a tag doesn't necessarily appear to be on his mind right now. Beautiful technique. What do you think Fondango needs to do to get back in this battle? If he's not careful, this can snowball out of control for him in a hurry. The abuse his body has gone through in this match is a little disturbing. I don't know why he hasn't made the tag yet. It's almost like he enjoys the pain. He has to be disappointed in this performance. He really is so much better than what he's shown so far Man. tonight. Fondango with a nice reversal.
You've got to believe this one's over. Curtis Axel makes the tag. Not good for the back and body. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Ouch. Incredible. Five dollars, we're just kidding. The shoulders are down. is worth another look. Here we go. Man, this was great. He ain't messing around. This was another great moment. And finally... There's no doubt about it. That's a big pinfall win right there. Tag teams beware. These two guys are legit. Believe it or not, that's just the beginning, folks. Stay tuned for more great action. I think the look of confidence on the face of Seth Rollins says it all. He is ready. Rollins, one of the greatest of this generation. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, the Intercontinental Champion, Seth Rollins has made a career out of taking risks and seizing opportunities. Seth Rollins has been a multi-time champion, a Money in the Bank ladder match winner, debuted as part of the Shield with Reigns and Ambrose. The King Slayer set for action. The Lunatic Fringe! And his opponent from Cincinnati, Ohio, weighing in at 225 pounds, Dean. Sir, this guy's fit to be tied, but his resume speaks for itself. The guy may sleep in a bedroom with padded walls, but one thing is undeniable. When Ambrose steps inside the ring, he is dangerous and one of the best in recent history. Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins is that rare case where great allies also make for equally great enemies. It's hard to choose what's more entertaining, Dean and Seth as a unit or at each other's throats. 
However, Ambrose should never forget how Seth Rollins once put a knife in his back and said it was just his business. Settle in, guys. This is going to be a blast to watch. Ooh. I'm reflecting on Dean and Seth's past fight. I recall that the architect didn't sell out. He bought into the evolution of Seth Rollins. Simply put, it's not about how crazy you are that'll get you ahead. It's how smart you are. Well, either way, Corey, Dean and Seth have a chaotic relationship. Either Ambrose is getting his head stuck through the cinder blocks, or he's he's got him covered. Digging deep for a kick out. Not yet. Knee drop. Jeez. Ambrose starting to struggle now. He came into this match expecting a fight, and that's exactly what he's getting. This match is so evenly contested right now that it's almost impossible to pick a winner. I guess we'll just have to settle in and enjoy the action. Wow, look at that combination punch. Oh, man. We've got a cover. And he doesn't stay down for long. Too soon. And it's Ambrose showing some agility. On the second rope. Using the ropes to... Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Just punched him right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. Oh, oh, nasty impact. Showing off some of his speed there. And it's Ambrose able to stop the count. Not yet. Why do they end up on the announce table? Look out, guys. Oh, my. This will damage your back. He's going for it all. Look out! Seth Rollins got out of there in the nick of time. They should count his lucky stars. And it's Dean Ambrose able to break free. Oh boy, he is rolling. Watch this. Oh. Two. Three. Back in from the floor. He's going for the pin. An easy kick out from Rollins. Way too early. When this guy's on, look out. There's a big reversal by Seth Rollins. How good is Seth Rollins? He's looking banged up here, guys. And it looks like things are about to get even worse. The Undertaker Fringe! What a clothesline! <laughs> Digging deep for a kick out! Gonna take more than that. Ambrose! Shoulders on the mat. I can't believe it. He just kicked out. Not yet. Seth Rollins finds a way out. That's how you wear down your opponent. Oh, continuing to punish them. Oh, setting him up right where he wants him. Pulls the ripcorn. There's the pin. Can his opponent kick out? Looking to catch him off guard there, I guess. Going to take more to get out of the Ambrose Asylum. Yeah, a lot more. He's docking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Going for the ride. Harsh impact. Oh, Seth Rollins in a tough situation here, folks. It'll be too late for him, but don't tell him that. Ooh.
He's on a rampage now. And Ambrose is rolling now, Michael. Leg is hooked. Here we go. Perfect plex. Wow, I can't believe he had the energy to kick out of that. Just when he thought it was over. Wow. Man, Seth Rollins is just relentless. Oh, I don't know if their opponent expected oh. that. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Vertical suplex. Nice. Rolls through. Oh, there it is. Dirty deeds. That may have been a slow count. What a match. Seth Rollins gets out of trouble. And quickly. Oh my God, a small package. Looking for all the glory here. How does he keep doing this? Ambrose is truly crazy to not stay down. Both these superstars appear to be operating on fumes here, guys. I don't know how much more these superstars can take, guys. You'd have to think something's got to get here soon. At this point, it looks like even the winner of this match will walk out of here beaten and battered. Look at this. Nailed it. Oh, he's able to reverse it. A high-risk maneuver that works from that top turnbuckle. Incoming. He's making a statement here with this attack. Leg is hooked. Here we go. Perfect plex. He's got him down. Is this it? Real close. Too close for comfort. Definitely has his work cut out for him. The lunatic fringe has him right where he wants him. Bang! Dirty deeds. Look at this. Two gets the shoulder up before three. Just powered out. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. He goes for the cover. Two! Oh, how resilient was that? That's too early for that. Really working over the body. And Ambrose is rolling now, Michael. Leg is hooked. Here we go. Perfect play. He's got the shoulders down. One, two. What is keeping this competitor going? Wow, just when you think he's done, Seth Rollins finds the strength to power through and battle on. Ambrose, yes! And this has got to be it! Two, three! Dean Ambrose wins! I can't believe it! Now's a good time to look at some of the highlights from that last matchup.
Yeah, he's putting in the work. Man, oh man, look at that. Highlight for one superstar, low light for another. And here's the last piece of the puzzle. Here is your winner, Dean Ambrose. And the first match of the night comes to an end in thrilling fashion. If that's the type of action we're going to get all night long, I can't wait to see the rest of the card unfold. Plenty more action still to come here tonight, folks. Here we go, matchup's gonna be a good one. Superstar ready for action. Wasting little time to start things off. There's the double leg takedown and the big right hands. Here we go, this thing's breaking down before it even gets started. Chaos ensuing here. Incredible. Well, the bell is rung and Kevin Owens is prancing and prowling, so we're in for a good one here. Look at the presumptuous attitude of Kevin Owens. It's called confidence, Saxton, and all the elite superstars have it. You have to walk in believing you're gonna beat up your opponent. taking on some offense here, but that's to be expected, especially considering who he's in the ring with. Yeah, but if you count him out now, guys, you'd be making a very big mistake. Mark my words. Now it's Lesnar taking some punishment, but he's not appearing too worse for wear, at least not yet anyway. He just has to make sure this doesn't get too out of hand for him. Sometimes, momentum has a way of permanently swinging one way. That's what he wants to avoid here. Oh, you cannot take your eyes off him for a second. Really? Oh, wicked clothesline. Takes him down in a major way, too. Owens might want to be careful here. Doesn't want to get ahead of himself. What a stomp. Good grief. Brock Lesnar just too fast for him. Lightning speed from the Beast. You've got to believe this one's over. Shoulder tackle. Out the arm. Oh, man. How can anyone trust Kevin Owens? It always seems like his best friends become better enemies. Ask Sami Zayn or... Chris Jericho. Whoa, 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 listen. Sami Zayn and Chris Jericho were men that betrayed Kevin Owens. KO gave them friendship, loyalty, and love, and all he brought moves in. This could be it. The great ones always explode when they have the chance. Core, your observations of Kevin Owens. Oh. Here's the cover.
These guys giving this sold out crowd exactly what they came to see. What an incredible match. for Brock Lesnar. Now let's take a look back at some of the great action. Almost forgot about this one. And this is how he ended it. to win to start off the night. Yeah, the performance put forth in that match tells me we're looking at somebody who will someday, very soon, be competing in the main event. What a match that was, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for joining us.